What's going on, everybody? Robinson DUP. Need to get get some truth out there about a realistic topic. Um, after being to the Arnold Expo, which I'm going to do a recap on, I know I posted some of the things uh, recently that you know some of the people I met and things that I saw while I was there. I will do that video soon. However, after seeing or experiencing that and just uh, talking to people like I normally do. There's just kind of some things I want to recap about the whole fitness world. I think I've mentioned these, might have gone over some of this stuff in previous videos, um, but I think it's important that we cover it again. And the reason is that, you know, you look at these guys and these girls who have what you deem to be incredible physiques. And a lot of that is smoke and mirrors. I want that to be honest and out there right now. Um, people are learning how to, especially females, mind you, but nonetheless, um, people are learning to angle their bodies perfectly, so that even if they're not in their best of condition, they can kind of mask it. Excuse me, I'm having like a cold thing going on here, or an allergy thing going on here right now. Um, they're learning to Photoshop their pictures so they look better, um, find the perfect lighting. They're doing a lot of things to manipulate their look, and then sometimes when you see them in person, um, they don't look that way at that particular moment. And there's also the issue of drug use, uh, performance aid, drug use, things that help you to cut weight faster. And I'm not talking over the counter fat burner either. Um, and what I was finding out too is like, you know, I saw a lot of these girls that, uh, you know, were modeling or working or doing their little thing for uh, the supplement company. So when you walk up to, uh, I don't know, Dimatize or Optimum Nutrition or any of these places, um, just to name a few, Cellucor, uh, there was another company named there, Bang, uh, which I had never heard of, things like that, you know, you have these girls there that are all, you know, they're all decked out to the nines, and when you look at them from far away, they look like they, they're attractive, but then when you get on, up close to them, they're not as attractive as you think, because one, their tan is fake, two, they're so covered up in makeup, it's not even funny to hide every little blemish on of, on their skin. Um, even their bodies, like when you catch them straight on, aren't all that impressive, to be honest. And I'm not saying that to be mean or rude or or bash women's bodies. Okay, so let's just you know let, let's get that out of the way right now. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to show that you know that there's a lot of smoke and mirrors that are going on to make you uh, desire a product. Uh, or desire a particular look that they themselves cannot hold on to all year and is very, you know, a, it's hard to maintain and let her along to achieve. And, uh, you know, you have these girls that are decked out with, you know, tons of hairspray, you know, uh, you know dyeing their hair, like I said, the tanning, uh, wearing extremely uh, tight tights to even hide some of the um, cellulite that they may have. And to the trained eye, a lot of people wouldn't notice it, but I do. And the thing that I see with both guys and girls is the worship of these people who are portraying a fake image. Like, you're on top of their Instagram saying, oh my god, I worship you. And meanwhile, the picture is seven months old when they were in comp competition prep at that particular time. Or they're standing in a... Pro like, I've seen people who know how to perfectly angle their hips... So it makes, it makes their abs look better and their butt look better than it actually looks in person at that given moment. So be aware of what it is that you're idolizing because it's not even real. Most of the time it's not even real, okay? Um, I've Obviously we've seen multiple people now who are photoshopping the crap out of their photos which their body doesn't even remotely look like that so why they do it I don't even know because when you see them in person it doesn't even make sense. Now outside of the manipulation of you know, photoshopping and perfect lighting and knowing how to position their body to highlight what they want it to highlight. You do have the, per, you know, the performance enhancing drug use um, where they're telling you they're natural and they're not. Uh, they're doing certain things like literally they're every other month they're like crash dieting to be ready for a photo shoot and they're destroying their bodies while they're at it so that they can maintain some sort of I don't know, sponsorship contract or get paid for modeling, which to me, I don't even know why it's worth it. To get a, you know, a supplement stipend, where you may get two to three hundred dollars a month or something in, in supplements, but meanwhile you're destroying your body, uh, it's, to me, makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Um, to, you know, and they're yo-yoing, so like, 
every other six months they're either bulking or dieting down for a show, which makes absolutely no sense to me because especially for men or females, being that lean all the time and not giving your body enough time to recover post-show destroys your hormones. Uh, I know females who have like no estrogen left in their body. I know guys who have to go on HRT now because it destroyed their testosterone and it's never going to come back. Like, just so you can look good to maybe make, not even a magazine cover, to maybe be like one of the people next to a bottle of protein uh, in an ad somewhere, or to say that you're a sponsored athlete, is just absolutely ridiculous to me. And so they can lie to you and sell you a product about some fat burner that they're not even using, it's not even making them look that way, or tell you how their protein is better than somebody else's. It's all a mirage, guys. It is absolutely a mirage okay and they're selling you this image and you're buying it hook line and sinker um and part of that really is not just so much the look that they're giving you but part of that's because you want to be sold to be honest so when you're sitting there telling people oh be honest you're on drugs you don't care that they're on drugs you don't care that rich piana takes drugs and he's honest about it or not you worship the way the guy looks let's just get that out of the way right now and a lot of people want to take the risk of damaging their body to look that way uh, which to me makes no sense it just doesn't but when you're seeing all of this be aware of what you're looking at and be aware that either those people only look that way for a short period of time or they're doing some things that are very harmful to, harmful to themselves to make them look that way um, or it might be completely and utterly fake uh, which I've seen time and time again because I've seen a lot of these people when they're not on camera and uh, or they're at an expo and they're not in their best condition or they just happen to not to be in the pose that highlights them the perfect way and I'm going, okay, I mean they're in shape but it's not anything impressive. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later.